A question that comes up fairly often in electricity and magnetism is say I have an electric field, maybe something like this, and I put in a material, maybe a dielectric. And you might ask, what's the new field? What does it do to the field? And that is a fairly ambiguous question because you could ask it a lot of ways. What does it do to the field inside the dielectric? Does it change the field outside the dielectric? Are we thinking about the molecular arrangement of charge in the dielectric or are we treating it as a continuum? And also, how was the original field created? Right? And here I've drawn sort of a uniform field. You'd say, well, if it was a uniform field, you probably made it like this. You probably had two charged planes right? with, say, plus sigma and minus sigma. And we stick a dielectric in that, what happens? Well, how are those hooked up? Are those constant charged planes? Or are they conducting planes on a battery? Because right. if you think back to our capacitor lecture, that'll make a difference. If you stick a dielectric in, if, if these are connected to a battery, they have a constant delta V, that, those, uh, that delta V has to drop over this distance no matter what you stick in there. Right. The field uh, uh, might change. Whereas if they're just planes of charge, then the field right here will never change. It has to be, or the field here, due to this will always be the same because we have a constant charge density. So this will always create the same field um, right outside its surface. So my point is that to answer this, we have to get more detailed of exactly what we're asking, okay? To solve a question like this gets pretty deep into the vector calculus a little further than we would go in a first year freshman, uh, or first year physics course. But what we're gonna do is approach it first in one dimension and then add a couple more dimensions and do enough of the vector calculus to really get a feel for it. We'll get pretty far. We're not gonna solve exactly the sphere. Right. So that's what we're gonna do in this unit.